workforce, technical and professional education at Jackson, Jamie Vandenberg, and Deputy Director of Michigan Works Southeast, Misty Shelters. Welcome to our show. Hi, thank you. Nice, nice to see you. I'm, I'm glad you got coordinated your office today, too. Very nice. <laughs> we did. Yeah, it was a nice surprise. Yeah. And you got the blue memo with the tie. We're perfect. It's yeah. awesome. <laughs> Uh, we've got um, really great opportunities for uh, students to get uh, educated and at a great price and in some cases free, mm -hmm. right? Well, today uh, we wanted to talk about the uh, Michigan Reconnect program. What, what is that? So Michigan Reconnect is a program that was launched by the state's um, 60 by 30 mm -hmm. office, um, kind of in an attempt to uh, encourage adult learners to uh, go back and um, get a post-secondary credential and so uh, a couple of years ago it was extended to include uh, those 21 and up and we'll talk in a little bit about that change right um, but currently those 21 and up can still apply um, and receive funds uh, to complete a credential or a degree well as it is Jackson College is, is a bargain to begin with so by having the state participate, it becomes almost a no-brainer, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, this started, I think, during the, the pandemic, and it was, I think, in response to, to the pandemic. Um, but it must have been successful for it to expand and, and continue. Yeah, uh, the governor has, has really, um, I mean, especially with the K-12 expansion, right, and the um, graduation going at the promise you know going into community colleges um expanding reconnect into the age of 21 but now we're taking a little bit more of like a workforce focus mm -hmm. and wanting to encourage employers uh to encourage folks to get some training and so i don't know if you want to add anything on yeah that. absolutely so at michigan works um we have noticed and been trending this statistic for a long time when an employer trains and and helps their team obtain professional development 94% of them are retained. And so in a really tight job market where we were going through the great resignation, employers started um, investing in their workforce and upskilling them so they could stay competitive and retain the workforce that they had. And so 60 by 30 with the My Reconnect is a great opportunity for employers to really encourage their workforce to take advantage of that first credential so that they can continue to gain their skills and have a forward path within the organization. Well, that's amazing. I would not have guessed that 94% of the employees that are being trained by the employer are just are gonna hang around. Yeah. So that's gotta be encouraging and probably for an employer to make that commitment and investment. Absolutely, Jamie made a comment yesterday and, and this statement really resonated with me, but during um, or post COVID during that great resignation, employers were really faced with the conundrum of either buying their talent or growing their own. Hmm. And so by them leveraging my reconnect for their current workforce, for those that are eligible, that is an opportunity for them to grow their own talent and the individual gets the classroom training, they obtain their credential, but they're also learning on the job. And so it's really just a great mix uh, for that organization and for the employee. Oh, so we have a name for that, the great resignation. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we're through that, yeah, right? That yeah. was, that was yeah. tough. <laughs> We've had some good examples of um, recently employers um, looking at our pathways at the college. You know, we offer um, accounting, business, you know, multiple um, opportunities on the screen there, law enforcement, marketing. So think about um, if you have an employee who's done really well on the floor and you're looking at them for a management position, and this is a real story. We had somebody call out to us say, hey, we're looking at this person for a manager. Um, what kind of classes do you have, right? They didn't realize that we maybe also have a business management certificate. So we were able to get that employer the training that they're looking for to upskill that employee We've also had employees reach out to us and say, I qualify for Reconnect and I work at this type of company and can you send me the list of courses so I can take it to my HR and show them, look at the training I'm gonna get, right? And so we're just trying to help bridge that gap and show employers that um, by allowing their folks to you know, explore this, that they can show investment. Uh, their company is put, investing in them you know, by time and effort and having that conversation. And then in return, you'll see increased loyalty 
and uh, retention and all of those, employee satisfaction. Yeah, so you guys are making it easy because m most employers are going to say, oh, I don't want to fill out a bunch of forms. I don't want to read a bunch of uh, you know, rules. You're putting together an event, a NOSH. So it's actually help. the chamber, yeah, the chamber's event. Um, mm -hmm. We were trying to look for a way to get in front of employers and just get them information about ReConnect. Now the, the, the application for ReConnect has to come you know, from the student, and so the student does that, but we can absolutely show how it aligns to industry-recognized credentials and certificates. Um, but so we were looking for an opportunity to get a bunch of employers together and the chamber already had this networking nosh going on So we said why don't we partner together? Yeah, Misty, do you have um, job openings and employers that say We just the skills that we really need they just were they're just not quite there yet Are there then potential employees that you can direct to go to this employer and to JC and get it all wrapped up? Absolutely, at Michigan Works Southeast, we connect employers and career seekers for a better future. So that is exactly <laughs> what we do at Michigan Works Southeast. And we're, we're excited for this event to be able to learn a little bit more about the employers and what their needs are because we do have those career seekers looking for those opportunities. And you're placing people like as soon as they're done with their education. We, um, it, I wish I had the statistic and I think we'll have to get it to you. So, you, you know, maybe I'll come back and we can chat about it. Um, just how many graduates we've had recently um, in each of those programs. And those are programs that, I mean, every, no matter what business you are here, you need accounting, you need marketing, mm -hmm. right? And so I think sometimes uh, we have such prolific healthcare programs and we do so much with trades that people forget that we have those other pieces. Mm -hmm. Um, at the Networking NOSH, we're, what we're really excited about is through some funding provided from the state um, around the 60 by 30 effort, we'll be able to um, cover the cost of companies to come to that. It doesn't have to be a chamber company. It can be non-members as well. And um, so that breakfast will be paid for. And we may have a hologram there. So <laughs> yeah. you need to come to the event and see if we have a hologram. <laughs> Ooh, a hologram. <laughs> what does uh, the phrase 60 by 30 mean? Uh, so it is the state's initiative to get 60% of the um, adult workforce into a post-secondary credential by 2030. 2030, yep. Yeah, the statistics I think are surprising uh, about Jackson County. Um, mm -hmm. We're less than 30% of uh, adults with a four-year degree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The difficult part on the, those statistics is they don't track certificates as closely. So associate degrees, we have that number. Bachelor degrees, we have that number. Mm -hmm. Certificates are really hard. And for a lot of our local employers, that's what they, you know, if this, it's in this industry credential, that's what we care for. And that's what we're hiring based on. And so the state hasn't yet kind of said how they can track the certificates as closely. Um, it's kind of tracked by the some college, no degree area. And in a manufacturing town like Jackson, that's not fair. That statistic doesn't really do justice to what Agreed. the state of the economy the is. The skill set that's here. Yeah. 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 Absolutely, I agree with that too. And we, I think, as a community, we've been saying more and more. You know, it's not a forty-year degree. It's not. It's not necessary mm -hmm. for a lot of jobs. And as you say, this, the, the certificates, it's enough. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So, if anybody has any questions, I know they can contact either one of you. Yep. yep. And um, Jackson College, out on. If you go to our website, and even if you just type in reconnect, there's a whole page with all of the information about the reconnect program. Uh, if you're a student interested in enrolling, the steps are there. And uh, if you're an employer interested in learning more, come to the Networking NOSH and yeah. chat with us. All right. Can't be a free breakfast. Yeah, and it's a full breakfast, too. Full. Hot bacon. Yeah. Hot bacon. Awesome. <laughs> Bark like I'm there. <laughs> All right, with crispy bacon and everything? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll Turn be there. Thanks. Good to see yeah. you both. Yeah, good to see you too. Jackson College, Dean of Workforce Technical and Professional Education, Jamie Vandenberg, and Deputy Director of Michigan Works Southeast, Misty Schulters.